the Dakota apartment building as it stands today. These were the scenes outside it on December the 8th, 1980, shortly after Mark David Chapman fired the bullets that killed John Lennon and shot the world. Chapman in this film, just released in the US, is played by Jared Leto. It's a fictionalized account. Chapman is shown prior to the killing in an unstable state. I was at a recording session tonight with John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Some people think there's not much more to Leto's performance than his weight gain. That is perhaps unfair. The physical transformation is startling. He gorged himself, okay, so gaining 60 pounds, so he would resemble the pudgy Chapman. I'll just have to keep I thought that I would be able to uh, go to that place and still remain relatively healthy, but I was uh, actually wrong about that. It was a very uh, dangerous thing to do and a very questionable thing to do. In fact, the weight gain so traumatized his body that the actor had to use a wheelchair at times. Altogether, it was an unsettling experience for him, especially shooting the film at the very spot where Lennon was killed. It was very disturbing. I was not comfortable at any point uh, there. It was good for the film uh, as far as being historically accurate. The Dakota is a very, very recognizable building. And and it was felt by the filmmakers that, uh, that uh, it was the only option that we had. I'm talking to you, then you We do see a lot of Chapman outside the Dakota. We learn of his obsession with the Catcher in the Rye novel he had with him when he shot Lennon. We see him mingling with Lennon fans, mostly one played by Lindsay Lohan. We hear Chapman's inner voice, the rantings of a man deeply disturbed. Human mind is an incredible thing. Mark David Chapman is a, a very depressing person to listen to in a way. He's not an inspiring figure. So what is redeeming about the film that you've made? What does it give the audience? I think it's important to uh, spend time, and it's worthy to spend time on examining that which is difficult. That's what that which is uncomfortable. It was really important to examine the failure of humanity not just the successes of humanity like we do so often with films. He's a Beatles fan from Hawaii, hoping to get John's autograph. It's nice to meet you. The real Mark Chapman has been behind bars since he shot John Lennon here at the Dakota in December 1980. Lennon's widow, Yoko Ono, has made it clear that she doesn't want to see him paroled. This film reinforces the view of Chapman as a dark, delusional figure who is now locked away. But the complaint from many is that it doesn't really offer audiences any more than that.